With the revolt of the Gallian people against Almighties, the deities turn to see their people become an army, and more so an enemy. They were all mocked as traitors, disposable and rebuildable. It's not like they haven't built before, so they can build again. Their lives are supposedly immortal, but this did not stop the tenacity of the Vegalian people as one foul swoop from their forces took full charge into their rulers, causing a war of paramount size. People willing to sacrifice their own kind for battle, for revolution, for a brand new resurrection. Each colony, Crimson, Velveta, Trojan Magnus, Philippices, to name a few, did not speak as much volume as the battlefield that beheld. The deities were cornered, distracted enough for tyrant and fate to make their most daring mission of all come to life. They storm towards the castle doors and make their way through as they locked tightly. There was but one thing Tyrant had not bargained on, however. It was one debacle being capable of entering the Iris's tomb. It was another to retrieve it. They had no resource and no means to conquer their mission. That is, until Lady Fate reveals yet another deceptive and masterful contingency she concocted. Underneath her veil, she uncovers the sacred Vegalian Bible, one thought to have been burned along with the castle. She fell back in her groups, not by mere accident, but to signal Tyrant. It so happens that Lady Fate knew the deities were planning to use her all along. And after overhearing their discussions of capturing Tyrant and using the castle as their pawn in their plans, she had been caught red-handed. Instead of punishing her on the spot, they used her to take down Tyrant, who they believed could still not be trusted, and the castle all in one. And so she had retrieved the Bible all for herself long ago by manipulating the guards with her bestowed new privilege given by the Mad Emperors to protect it from sight. What this meant was to be seen in due course, but they had to hurry. The deities were outnumbered by Vegala Infinity citizens. They would try to devour. They would try to empower. But in the end, this only made the army against them stronger than they'd ever known.